My name is Roly Padron. I am the owner and the founder of Nomad Customs. I take stock shoes and design them in a unique way, changing up the colors, changing up the way it looks. My story actually begins with customizing shoes. Middle school, high school, I used to uh, always change up the way that my shoe looked somehow, some way, just to stand out, whether it be just the logo on it or you know a certain section on it, um, usually with Sharpie markers, you know, anything to kind of set them apart. To change the overall look, there were a lot of steps, there were a lot of trial and error that I had to go through. A lot of YouTube, searching, Google. The average is about eight hours, six to eight hours uh, for a full custom. When someone's asking me what the process is, I compare it to if you were to take your car to have repainted. So pretty much you'd have to strip it, uh, add primer, uh, you could probably sand it a little bit, certain areas, apply paint, generous coats of paint, and a finisher. When I started doing the, the custom shoes, we, we were not in the best situation. We were recently married. He got laid off of his job. So we were really struggling. We had to move back in with my parents. I had been doing property management for 15 years. I was just searching for a job, sending out resumes. Went on a lot of interviews. He tried to get a job back in property management, which he really didn't want. It was, it was a really hard time. He couldn't really land a job, so he started caddying. Uh, at a golf course in Miami Beach. He's always played golf, always loved golf. A couple months before that happened, he started painting shoes. I set up a desk in the corner of the bedroom, that desk right there, actually. And I told him to go for it, you know? We didn't know where it was gonna go, and I knew he was an artist at heart. I was worried about driving my wife insane. She's uh, my number one supporter. He had a brilliant idea on one of his own golf shoes. It was a Tiger Woods shoe, and I remember the day that he came up with the concept of merging a Jordan design onto the Tiger Woods shoe, and he was mind blown, and I remember his excitement. I had the opportunity to caddy for Ray Allen. After he caddied for him for that round, he showed him the shoes and, and Ray was blown away. It was about three weeks from the day that I caddied for him that he actually reached out. And the day he did, it was amazing. I would say that that's probably the moment that it all changed for me, uh, where I didn't have to caddy for much longer. Word of mouth, he told his friends, and it kind of started growing with me posting shoes on my Instagram account. I became a little more busy and had enough orders, so where it wasn't a hobby anymore, now I could actually turn it into a business. The last five years have really been a, a heck of a ride. Some of the guys that I've worked for on the PGA Tour have been uh, Rory McIlroy, Phil Mickelson, Patrick Reed, Bubba Watson, Bryson DeChambeau, Tony Fino. Holy cow. Ah. These things are incredible. Just to name a few. One of my favorite projects is the Arnold Palmer shoe that I did for Ricky Fowler. Um, I just think the overall design was just one of my best personally. Got a lot of attention. I actually hand delivered the shoes to Ricky himself. 
his reaction was, wow, that's some good painting. As he brought them closer to his face, you know, it was, it was pretty awesome to hear him say that. It's so cool to see something that you, you dedicate so much time to the overall design, you put so much effort into making it look a certain way, and to see it on TV, it never gets old. The kids think that it's the coolest thing that their dad is an artist and paints shoes. And they could say the word cool, and I think it's inspiring because it's shown them how you can turn what you're good at, what your talent is, into your profession. I think it's just a story of never giving up and following something that you're passionate for, something that you're passionate about. The quote that I have written on my calendar is uh, K-O-B-K, kill or be killed. Michael Jordan is one of the greatest athletes ever of all time. That's a, a quote that he wrote on Keegan Bradley's golf shoe that I saw once. That mentality of, you know, striving and wanting to, to always conquer. If you're passionate about something, I think that's just the way, that's the way that I look at it. You just gotta go for it.